I don't know about you, but I love a good slice of cinnamon raisin bread, but I usually don't like the ingredients that you find in the store-bought brands. So let's make a healthier version today. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we get together every week in the kitchen. We create delicious and nutritious recipes to make for yourself and your loved ones. Today, we're going to be making cinnamon raisin almond bread. Let's begin by adding one and one half cup of gluten-free flour to a large mixing bowl. I'm going to be using the Bob's Mill one-to-one. Next, I have one cup of almond flour, which is such a great way to get in some protein to our bread. But if you don't want to add in the almond flour, you certainly could just add in one more cup of the gluten-free flour that you're using. For our sweetener, I'm going to be using one half of a cup of coconut sugar. You're absolutely welcome to use your preferred granulated sugar here, including low glycemic, so Lacanto and urethritol would absolutely work. Next we have one teaspoon of baking powder, along with one half of a teaspoon of baking soda. For our spices, I am going to be using two teaspoons of Ceylon cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one eighth a teaspoon of ground clove. Last, I have one teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Whisk together your dry ingredients and then set it aside. Now for our wet ingredients. Taking a small mixing bowl or just using a glass measuring drawer, you want to take one cup of your favorite nut, oat, or coconut milk, preferably unsweetened. To your milk, we're going to be adding in one third of a cup of either melted butter, ghee, coconut oil, avocado oil, almond butter, or even two third a cup of applesauce if you'd like to reduce the fat content. So hopefully there's something here to fit everyone's dietary needs. One egg, or even a chia or flax egg would work here. And one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract for some flavor. Whisk together your wet ingredients, and then add your wet ingredients to your flour mixture, along with one half to three quarter cups of raisins. Fold together until combined, and then pour your batter into a well-greased and parchment paper lined nine by four and a half inch bread pan. Bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for 35 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean when inserted in the middle. Be sure to let your bread cool on a cooling rack before serving. Mmm, this cinnamon raisin bread smells so good. So I am ready to give it a taste. That is absolutely delicious. I love the spices. You know, sometimes when you cook with almond flour, it can get to be a pretty heavy and pretty dense. That's why I like to mix it with some gluten-free flour. So it is so good, but it's also going to stick around in your belly too, because it's very hearty. It would be delicious with a bunch of different kinds of spreads, it would be delicious in the morning, it would be delicious in the evening, or really any time of day. This one is so good. I hope you give it a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, I hope you're well, happy, and taking great care of yourself. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.